Welcome back to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, an ordinary guy who's learning how to do body work. So this is part three or four, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been like all consuming this dumb door right here. So to recap, started with a gnarly dent where I, and you know what did this was, I had a Vega wagon, no engine or transmission. It was a car I was gonna build, ended up not building it. But this was sitting on the side of uh, a house, my house, and I had the Vega on the trailer. No engine or transmission in it. And I rolled it off the trailer, and it got away from us, and it hit the door, and that big old gnarly dent, it don't look bad now, but that big old gnarly dent was all from a Vega with no engine and transmission in it, and it wasn't going that fast, so it hit the sweet spot, I guess. But anyways, that's how that dent came about, and I got a couple of videos showing you how I got rid of it. So my last video, I had welded everything up. Um, and you know, being, this was my very first attempt at any kind of patch panel. I went into this full knowing from the very get go, because my original plan was to do an entire door skin. And I knew from the, going into this from the get go, that that was probably gonna happen. And this was all a learning experience. And I'm, I'm still there. Uh, this is gonna come off and I'm gonna do a full door skin um, because you know, when I, when I went to weld this together, the good panel on here, when I went to weld it together, you know, I haven't done sheet metal too much. So I popped a few holes, I filled a few holes and it, the weld isn't the integrity that I'd really like to have. And I didn't want to keep going at it because I don't want to get the metal real hot and you know, whatever, it's just, just rookie stuff. You know, anyways, it's all together. It, it, the heat sh uh, shrinkage from the weld, the weld shrinkage from the heat, it kind of got a little bit of a dip going, you know, like that. And so there's different ways to try to get rid of it. But this door, this truck had been wrecked before we bought it back in 68 or whatever. So there was body filler on this door. I guess it somehow got hit over here. I don't know. But the farther I sanded, the more body filler I found. I mean, not really bad, but it's still there. So the door kind of has a, a wave to it. So this was all a learning experience and I got to mess with a whole bunch of stuff and I'm completely worn out from sanding, hand sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding because I put some filler on it, a thin coat, sanded it down, filled in the lows, sanded it down, filled it in, sanded it down and then I probably filled it a couple of times before I had it sanded far enough and I had to sand all of that off. So my butt is tired and you can see well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, do a quick walk around of what we got going. But anyways, that's where I'm at. I skipped ahead. I didn't go through all the bondoing or the body filler and sanding part because really, who wants to see a grown man cry? You know, the crying and the pleading and the, the sitting in the corner rocking, you know, nobody wants to see that. But anyways, um, let me get my camera down and flip it around and we'll walk through this real quick. This is just gonna be a quick short video, but let's, let's walk through this. So hang on. So first off, I would like to say I am not a fan of the messy shop. I like to keep my shop neat and clean as, as best as I can. It's a shop, you know, but I like things to be put away. And that is what I did, the aftermath to my bench over there to my toolbox and the truck here on the ground. It's hard to tell in the picture and everything, just like the picture of the metal work that I did was a lot better looking than it actually was. But there is a lot of filler on the ground, a lot of filler. And I got the sore shoulders and arms to prove it. But anyways, came around to the inside here. This is where the patch panel is, tacked it. Got it back in and tacked it, and it goes down across the bottom. It's in pretty good. You look from the side down the door. It's hard to tell, but it's pretty straight. Body lines are adequate. Got a little jog right here, but you know. But body lines are pretty accurate.
And you may notice, I'm just gonna go ahead and show my flaws. You may notice I'm missing a couple of the trim holes. And that might be a spot where the bondo is a little, or body filler is a little bit thicker than I wanted it. But whatever. What I was going for with this was to learn and to make it look better than it did. So I'm gonna insert a picture here real quick just to show you what it was like before, just a refresher. And then maybe I'll throw a couple in there too of the uh, process. So yeah, you can see it looks way better. I'm not gonna feel embarrassed when somebody pulls alongside me on the passenger side, you know, on a, at a stoplight or whatever. So that's all done. Walk around over here. This is gonna be our next project. It's gonna be a quick one. This door here has to be done as well. I need to pull this out. And then it was side swiped here and it's not too deep, but it needs to be dealt with. Next project, I'm going to put that gas cap filler panel in, but that's pretty much it with that. So yeah, that's going to be a wrap on this video. Not a whole lot of stuff to show um, as far as action, just a little bit of the aftermath of what I've done. Got my work cut out for me right now. I got a whole lot of cleaning up to do. Um, get the truck out. I'm going to get it washed, get all the dust off of it, get my shop cleaned up, turn it around and I'm gonna weld up that other side. So I'll do a quick video on that. But uh, I took a couple of days where I didn't really work on this, or a day anyways, and, and barbecued with the family because it was Memorial Day weekend. And, and uh, you know, thank you to all the men and women who've given their lives for us, for our country. Appreciate that. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you to the new subscribers. I see that there's, they're coming in, they're coming in and I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you share, make sure if you haven't subscribed, be one of my new subscribers and uh, content's only gonna get better. Let me know what you think. If you wanna tell me I'm an idiot, I'll listen, um, as long as you're respectful. Um, and whatever, tell, give me some constructive criticism, I don't care, uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Um, like I said, next is that and then I got another car that's going to be coming in here that we're going to start working on brand new project and I'll be getting back on the El Camino but I got a whole brand new project we're going to start on probably in the next week so anyways thanks a lot subscribe stay safe